Hi, this is Mike, and today I'm going to show you how to create a course using Blackboard Course Generator. First thing you'll want to do is log into MyWM, and you can go to my.wm.edu, and you'll get the login page here. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my own login to log in. And this is your William & Mary password that you'll be using here. And log in. Okay, so once you've logged in, you'll notice that you've got some tabs up at the top uh, left-hand corner. You've got MyWM Home, Services, and any other tabs. I'm going to click on the Services tab. And on the Services tab, you'll notice on the left-hand side, um, we've got Web Services, Banner Self-Service, and if we scroll down a little bit, there's the Blackboard Course Generator. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the Blackboard Course Generator. This brings us to the Blackboard Course Generator, and sometimes you'll be asked to log in again depending on what the server is doing, but most of the time you should just see your own courses appear here. Now, since I'm an administrator, I have to sort of select the people who I want to look at, and I'll just select somebody at random here. And you won't see any of that, you'll just see your courses. Okay, so if you notice, it shows you all of the courses that you're going to be teaching for any given semester. To create your course site, you'll have to choose whether or not you want to um, combine course sites if you're teaching a multiple section course and you're teaching more than one section. You may want to have those combined in the same Blackboard course site, so what you would do is you would check the buttons. In this case, this faculty member is teaching three sections of the same course so they can check all three of these and they would create their Blackboard course based on all three of those courses all three of those banner numbers and I'll click create Blackboard course once I've done that it will show me some information about the course show me the course ID and the course name. If I want to change the course name, I can change it right here. I can also choose another course to base this one on if I've taught this course in the past. Um, if you'll notice, there's template course listed right here. And if, there, if I pull down the menu, I'll see all the different courses that I'm teaching or this faculty member is teaching. And I can choose something to base this course on. So if I taught this course before, last semester I could go ahead and choose that course um, and it's going to make an exact duplicate except for the students of that course site and I'll hit confirm and that's all there is to it you'll notice then when you go back to look at the courses that you're teaching um, you'll see a, re a course request pending and it'll show you the name of the the Blackboard course number for that particular course. And you can go ahead and create the rest of your courses if you want to at this time. The one thing that you don't want to do is click all the boxes and click create Blackboard course because you'll have one gigantic Blackboard course site with all of your classes in it. And that's it.